smartwatches. Smartwatches have become quite the popular thing in the technology community in the past couple of years. We've seen watches from Pebble, from Sony, and from Samsung. Some running modified versions of Android, others running their own complete operating system tailored for just notifications, and others running Tizen. We've seen a wide array of smartwatches, but none have felt really complete yet. That is going to change very soon though with the introduction of Android Wear, the brand new wearable platform from Google by Google, all based off of the Android OS. And there are two smartwatches currently available to pre-order that are running Android Wear, the LG G Watch and the Samsung Gear Live, which I have right now, and we're going to unbox it. Hey there everyone, how are you doing? I am Joe Marin from Mobile Cup of Joe. In this video right here today, we are going to be unboxing the Samsung Gear Live running Android Wear. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for your mobile cup of Joe. Alrighty, so here we go guys, my unboxing of the Samsung Gear Live. Again, I did purchase this myself from the Google Play Store um, a couple days after the keynote at Google I.O. I was so pumped for this device. I actually ordered two, one for me and one for my mom. I was telling her about Android Wear and she wanted one too. I opted for the Samsung Gear Live because I like the design aesthetics better. Um, I just didn't really get any appeal from the LG G Watch or the Guatch as uh, some people are calling it. So that's why with the Gear Live it's 100 or about 30 bucks cheaper in the US market anyways. And there is a heart rate monitor on it which I do a lot of running so I thought that'd be kind of a cool thing to have. So either way we do have it in here. Let's go ahead and let's unbox it. Um, this is your standard Samsung packaging, as if you've gotten any recent package from Samsung. Um, pretty much since the Galaxy S4, you know what to expect now. Um, the fake kind of wood design on their cardboard. Samsung Gear Live right here. On the right side, nothing really. Left side, Samsung Gear Live. If you go onto the back, we can see some information about the Gear Live. Um, kind of telling us what some of the specs that it has. A uh, one point. 6.3 inch Super AMOLED display, 1.2 gigahertz processor, that is quad core by the way, a Bluetooth 4.0 connectivity, heart rate, compass, gyroscope, and accelerometer, IP67 certification for dust and water resistance, and you can just say the command OK Google for uh, initiate voice command. Bluetooth, Super AMOLED, and Android Wear logos all present here on the Gear Live. So let's go ahead and take our very fancy uh, Vic Troinox, original, uh, Swiss Army knife. So I thought we might as well go classy for this unboxing right here. I, mean, I don't have to use a knife that often on an unboxing video, but I thought for the Gear Live we would go all the way with the Swiss Army knife. So go ahead and take this out of here. And go ahead and cut this without harming ourselves and getting a cut on the finger. If we can get that to go, we went ahead and cut. Go ahead and prop that back in there, set that to the side. Take the top off, and voila, there you go. That is the Samsung Gear Live. It actually looks a bit bigger in person than I was expecting it to, but that's all fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and take the watch out itself. Um, looks even better in person, I must say, although there's this plastic around it, I really do like the design of the of the year live. Although it's no Moto 360, which looks just downright gorgeous, it really isn't all that ugly. Let's go ahead and see what else comes in the box. Um, over here, looks like we do have that very tiny, kind of controversial um, charger for the Gear Live right there. Go ahead and set that to the side. Focus back in there. Um, looks like here we do have some literature about the Gear Live Samsung Gear Quick Reference Manual, um, kind of about Android Wear, which might not be bad to read since Android Wear is kind of a brand new platform that might not be the worst thing to read up on. I might have to myself. Uh, then you have Health and Safety Warranty Guide about the Gear Live, so if you get bored, middle of the night, you got some stuff to read. Going in here, we have got a wall charger with a micro USB port. And it's actually connected as one, so it's not one of those where the micro or the full-size USB plugs into the wall port. Um, this is all one thing right here, so it's 
kind of interesting little thing Samsung did right there. But that looks like that is about it for the box of the Gear Lab. Go ahead and put this stuff back in there. However, it fit. Go ahead and just close this for now. And go ahead and pop this back on. Set that to the side. Here is the Gear Lab. We'll go ahead and take this plastic off. If we can figure out how to do that. Um, this might prove to be, oh, there we go, right on the underside of the watch. And it is coming off. There, ladies and gentlemen, is the Samsung Gear Live in all of its glory. A 1.63 inch 320 by 320 Super AMOLED display. We have our watch clasp right here. If you undo this, you have a heart rate monitor in the inside right there. And that those pins above it right there are for our wireless charging. You see, unlike the G-Watch, which is buttonless, we do have a button on the right side of the Gear Live right there for powering the device on. Let's go ahead and see how this fits on my wrist really quick just to see if I can actually um, get this band on with one hand because I've heard it proves to be a bit difficult but we shall see right here. And I am kinda not getting this. Let me take it off to the side for a second so I can see if I can master this. And that is not going on. I don't have to use two hands for this at some point to get it on. But you can kind of see how it fits on my wrist. I don't have the biggest wrists out there. Um, just because I'm skinny and don't have big wrists. But you can see it's a bit big on my wrist right here, actually. Much bigger than my Pebble Steel. So this is going to be a preference thing if you like this or not. Personally, I don't mind it. I like how it looks, actually. I know it's kind of a techy-looking thing, so it doesn't really look like jewelry. But I don't necessarily need my smartwatch to look like jewelry. I think it looks just fine how it is right here. So I'm actually going to go ahead and cut to a different camera angle, download the Android Wear app on my phone, and set this thing up for you guys live right now on this unboxing video. Okay, so I went ahead and I downloaded the Android Wear application onto my Moto X. Go ahead and go over here to the Android Wear app. It says turn on, so you guys can go ahead and read this as I go through the process. It says turn on Bluetooth through receipt of update information, notifications, and more your watch needs a Bluetooth connection. So I'm actually going to go ahead and turn on the watch right now. Hold down the power button. And so you can see the boot up animation that says Gear Live right there. And then we got this really cool looking animation right here. It says Android Wear with that new font style. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and turn the Bluetooth on my phone real quick. Like this. Is Bluetooth on? I'm guessing. Yeah, Bluetooth is on. So we're going to go ahead and hop back to the watch real quick. So English United States, we're going to go ahead and click yes. Now it says install Android Wear on your phone. It says Gear Live 7B30. So I'll hop back to the phone right here. And what is it saying? Turn on Bluetooth, notification access, Android Wear, enable Android Wear and the accessibility for notification access. And you got that check right there. Pair with the new wearable, hit the settings thing, hit pair with the new wearable, because it was actually picking up my Pebble Steel, which is kind of weird. So this Android Wear lets you set up, it should only take you a couple minutes to pair it with your watch. We're going to hit that, it says Android Wear, make your watch smart, Android Wear, uh, and your phone are always in sync. Google Now, Location, Google Fit, uh, Contact Recognition, all this stuff Google is kind of pushing with Android Wear. We're going to go ahead and hit Accept. That says Choose a Device. And it's only showing that Pebble right now, which is kind of odd. So can we go ahead and... You're live right there, 7B30. We're going to go ahead and select that. This is Connecting with your watch. And you can see right here... I've got my pairing code. I'm going to go ahead and select yes. It's pairing with my Motorola phone, the XT1053. Just a minute. And you can see right here it says paired. And right here it's still pairing. And it says you are all done. Uh, see your watch and know how to use it. Or see your watch to learn 
how to start using it. And it's kind of showing the card layout right there. Um, my watch currently says downloading right now, so not sure if it's downloading an update or something, but it's doing that. Go ahead and hit next, and then we can see, go ahead and focus this right here. Um, Gear Live is connected voice actions, two services to use for these actions on your watch. And if we go here, we can go to the Play Store to browse compatible applications. So we have apps for Android Wear. Um, so you have things like Lyft, so you can say hail a cab or something. We have Runtastic and Running, Cloud Magic Email App, MetaSafe, Medicine Pill, Hue Control, Fancy, Path, Talk, the new Talk or whatever, Music X Match, Golf Shot Golf, IFTTT, Level Money, uh, Brainstorm Concerts, we have Banjo, um, Eat24, which is actually one they demoed at I.O. We have a bunch of applications on here. All the Cooks, which I'm really excited about, Google Maps, Handouts, all this stuff. Um, it looks like this is still downloading something. I'm not sure if it's a software update or just an initial download process. So I'm going to go ahead and let this do its thing, and I'll come back when it's set up and ready to use. Okay, so I went ahead and I got Android Wear all set up and ready to go. It took a few minutes, I had to install a software update it looks like, and then to get it paired with my phone again. But all looks to be running well here with my Samsung Gear Live. I want to show you a quick comparison between this and the Pebble Steel, which I went ahead and got from my room, just to show you the sheer difference in size. I'll go ahead and put this on next to my wrist. But you can see just how different in size the Pebble Steel and the Gear Live is. Um, I thought the Steel was a decently sized smartwatch, but when compared to the Gear Live, it's easy to see that it is uh, kind of tiny in comparison. Uh, this Pebble Steel is still a great smartwatch, but just from a design standpoint, while it's really great, it is much smaller than the kind of mammoth of the Gear Live right here, but that's just something we're seeing. The Moto 360 even looks to be pretty big, so if you have very small wrists like I do, this might be an issue for me. I don't mind it so much I can put a bit higher in my wrist and it sits fine, but I'm just wondering for more feminine users, um, women especially with smaller wrists, how they are going to take to this, so that will be interesting to see as we go along. But it is saying swipe up to get started, so I'm going to go ahead and swipe up, and it, can I go ahead and tone down my brightness? Because this is kind of killing me right now. It says, you are all set. Swipe up to get started. Great try swiping up again. Um, easy, right? Uh, useful cards show up automatically throughout the day. Keep swiping. Yes, Google. Um, it says, can you guys see this? There you go. Uh, you can remove cards when you're done with them. Swipe to remove. Swiping to remove. Do we do that? Or do I, oh, I keep scrolling. Okay. Don't worry. Cards show up again when they're useful to you. This is 20 degrees London. Swipe left for details. Oh, left, dummy. Here we go. And again for actions. Okay, got Very nice. Okay, got it. You can also swipe to demiss when in an app. Oh, there we go. If I can swipe the right way. It works just fine. Touch anywhere on the clock and say an action such as show me my steps. We'll do that. Can we do that? One last thing. If you dim the screen, cover it with your palm. Oh, it vibrated and it went right there. And it says system update. I wonder what that means. Is it updating? Oh, system update, swipe left to install, open, mute app. That is really neat, actually. Let's go ahead and try using a voice command. Um, okay, Google. How's the weather? Let's see right there. Lawrence, very sweet stuff. Go ahead and swipe that away. Let's try another thing. Okay, Google. Open settings. So go ahead and adjust the brightness so it's not so bright in your guys' face. We will go down to 2 right there. Now I am interested to see too how this performs in bright sunlight because I've heard it's not the best out there. Um, so, so far I'm really digging Android Wear. It seems pretty cool. Again, there's still a lot that I have to get used to. I'm showing you that my battery is at 15%. 
Looks like I'm gonna go ahead, go ahead and have to charge this thing pretty soon. Um, those are all the cards it looks like I have got right now. I apologize if this video is kind of uh, clunky and cluttered right now. Um, I'm still trying to get used to the whole Google uh, Wear or Android Wear setup. But this is actually really cool. It shows me my package has arrived. Package shipped Samsung Gear Live Black, which is what we have right now. So that stuff is cool. That's going to take me some time to get used to Android Wear as a platform. Take some time just playing and toy around with it. So if you have questions about Android Wear as a platform in general, or specifically about the Gear Live, let me know. I should have a lot of follow-up coverage for this device. I'm obviously going to, be do going to be doing a full review, and I'm trying to get the LG G Watch in from a uh, contact at either LG or AT&T, because there's rumors the G Watch will be available with them as well. So I'm going to do my best to get a G Watch in for review, hopefully sometime soon, and even possibly a Gear 2, just to do some follow-up and show this, I'll show you guys how the Gear Live does compare to other smartwatches on the market. And if you want to, I could even do a comparison between this and the Pebble Steel. With that said, that's about all the time I have for this video today. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button if you liked it uh, to really help support the show. And if you want to make sure you never miss another episode of MCOJ, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I believe it's at the bottom of the screen now. It uh, really does help the show out and it makes sure it ensures that you do not miss when I upload a video. Want to stay in touch some more? Go ahead and follow the show on Twitter and me on Twitter as well. Uh, the show is at Mobile Cup of Joe and I am at Joe Marine One. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye bye.